My name is Pastor Brian Irvin with ChristMovementLA.org. We're here in Los Angeles, California, off of Figueroa, straight to the word, the gospel. Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Brian Irvin. Uh, what we got going on, we're here in Los Angeles, California, off of Figueroa, bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have our Word, the sermon, 2019. Uh, the title is coming from Genesis 14th chapter and the 22nd verse. Uh, the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. Uh, we also have our track, Street Team. Uh, we are established in 1969. Our website you can always go to is www.pricewoomentla.org. If you'd like to make a donation, it's always good to keep this, our operation still going. Our theme is a move of the Holy Spirit. That's our theme. We also have our 50th church anniversary uh, coming up in November 17th at 3 30. Uh, if you like to know the address you can always go to the website and pull up the address on our 50th church anniversary as we, as i said we established in 1969. amen uh let's get to the word all right the gospel of christ jesus uh there's two topics we're going to talk about is the kingdom of God and eternal life. Kingdom of God and eternal life. Let's go to Matthew the 6th chapter and the 33th verse. Matthew the 6th chapter and the 33th verse. Once again, the two topics we're going to talk about is the kingdom of God and the eternal life kingdom of God and the eternal life. Matthew, in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, the 33 verse. It reads, But seek ye the kingdom of God first, and, then, and his righteousness and all these shall be added to you. Seek ye first his kingdom. Um, coming from the KJV King James Version uh, text. I'm going to read it one more time. Coming from Matthew the 6th chapter and the 33 verse. But ye, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you the next verse we want to look at dealing with the kingdom of God is Matthew the 7th chapter and the 21st verse in Matthew the 7th chapter and the 21st verse the scripture reads not everyone that say unto me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he that do the will of my father which in heaven will enter the kingdom of God once again we're going to talk about two topics kingdom of God and eternal life. Remember, but he that do the will of my Father which are in heaven will enter the kingdom of God. Let's look at Psalms 118 and the ninth verse. In the, the Bible or the scriptures, it's 
Psalms 18. The scripture reads in the 19th verse. It reads, in Psalms 18 and the 19th verse, the scripture reads, Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. Remember, the topic we're going to talk about the kingdom of God and eternal life. In Psalms 118, it stated, This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter these gates, which is the kingdom of God. Let's go to John the 10th chapter and the 7th verse and the night verse. Remember the two topics we're going to talk about is the kingdom of God and the eternal life. The kingdom of God and the eternal life. We're going to go to John the 10th chapter and the 7th verse. Then said, the seventh verse, the scripture says, Then said Jesus unto them again, Barely, barely, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Ninth verse, the scripture says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastures. Remember, the two topics we're gonna to talk about is the kingdom of God and eternal life. In John the 10th chapter and the seventh verse, the scripture said, then said Jesus, I am the door. If any man enter in shall be saved, the kingdom of God. Let's look at John, the third chapter, and the 15th verse. The scripture says in John, KJV King James Version, the scripture says in the book of John, the third verse, the third chapter and the 15th verse, for God so that whosoever believeth in me shall not perish but have eternal life but have eternal life Who, whosoever believe in the name of Jesus in him shall have eternal life Remember the two topics, the kingdom of God and eternal life. Let's look at in the book of KJV, King James Version. The book of John, the 17th chapter and the third verse. In the book of John, the 17th chapter and the third verse, the scripture reads, in the third verse, and this is eternal life, that they might know the, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I'm going to read it one more time. 
in John the 17th chapter in the third verse and this is eternal life this is eternal life that they might know the the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent remember the two topics the kingdom of God and eternal life let's look at John first John the fifth chapter and the 20th verse in first John the fifth chapter and the 20th verse the scripture reads starting at the 20th verse and we know that the Son of God is come and has given us a understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ this is the true God of eternal life I'm going to read that one more time coming from the KJV King James Version coming from 1 John the 5th chapter and the 20th verse and we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us a understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ this is the true God the internal life remember the two topics that we talked about is the kingdom of God and eternal life this is the gospel of Christ Jesus amen we love you and you can't do nothing about it Christ movement la.org a move of the Holy Spirit my name is Pastor Brian Nurk. Amen.